If you're thinking on taking performance enhancing supplements, just think twice before you do that. Not only you're gonna get amazing gains and the body that you're probably looking for, you know, in a short period of time, you're also gonna get an extra boost in your anxiety and depression, as well as your anger. If you have a lot of anger issues, that will be amplified to the extreme. Today I had an encounter with someone that um, I believe 100% to my core that that person was on, you know, performance enhancing supplements. And why am I saying that? Why do I think that? Well, first of all, he looked bigger than me. That's one of the things, right? If the person looks bigger than you, he's definitely or she is definitely in performance enhancing supplements. The second thing is that because um, they were raging. Why? When I tell you this, you're going to be very surprised. But before we go any further, please make sure to subscribe if you enjoy natural bodybuilding, if you enjoy anything natural, if you enjoy me, if you enjoy pandas. Now, today I was attempting to hit a PR on my bench. I was there with my gym bro and we were trying to get a 200 and I'm going to say the number because I'm going to show you right now. Bye. I was trying to get that number. As you can see, it's a little bit wobbly. I didn't do the best form. My butt was off the bench and I was not able to perform the three points of contact. Whenever you're trying to do this, you know, bench techniques, you have to uh, have your shoulders and your ass and, you know, leg drive, all that. I couldn't do that. Why? Because at that point I was already mentally checked out. It was my first exercise of the day. And the, the thing is that whenever you're in the gym, and keep this in mind, if you're going to be hogging a machine, if you're going to be working out in a machine and you are trying to keep that machine for a certain period of time, please make sure to do your rounds before you, I don't know, go and do number two in the bathroom. Because if you are not there, most likely someone will use that machine. But the problem wasn't that. The problem was that I used one of the plates that was in that machine. It was a curl machine and I didn't see anyone. My gym brother didn't see anyone either. Like we were like looking around, hey, where we, we need a 45 plate because we we're loading the plates and we didn't have anything near us. The next machine was the curl machine. Now, when I tell you that this person came as soon as we moved that plate and put it in our uh, barbell, he was yelling. Oh, well, apparently someone took my stuff, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, like a normal human being, like he was probably concerned. Oh, wait, I'm going to work out. No, no, no. He wasn't concerned. He was trying to fight. Why? Because when I say, hey, sorry, man, I did He just caught me off right there and look at me in a different, in a very, very angry way. So I had two options. I either say, hey, you were not there or I, sh I could say, well, um, sorry, which I did. I did sorry, I was trying to de-escalate the situation. However, he was not about that life. Even though I waited for maybe like five seconds for him to say something back, he was just looking at me weird. And the guy was probably pushing 50. Um, not that I'm young anyways, but he was definitely older and uh, very, very muscular, if you will. Um, after like maybe 30 seconds of me trying to get an engagement and him recognizing that, hey, this guy was, you know, I didn't have any ill intent. No, no, no. He was like, don't worry about it. So, okay, cool, cool. That was the beginning of my workout and at the same time, the end because I was checked out. But there's some gym etiquette that we can learn from that situation. If you are going to leave your machine person, don't just leave a water, uh, a bottle of water there. Just make sure to let everyone know that you're going to come back because, you know, the gym is a community that everyone has to be friendly. Since, since that happened to me, that just reminded me that not a lot of people have a lot of gym etiquette. One of the number one rules on gym etiquette is that if you're going to record, you got to make sure that you don't have people on frame because not everyone wants to be recorded. And nowadays you don't want to end up in one of the Joey's World videos if you do the wrong thing, right? Second thing is that if you are going to leave the area that you are going to work out, please make sure that everyone knows that you are going to come back in some way. You either put your towel there. 
or make eye contact with the person around you. Hey, you know, I'm here because we are going to understand. Yes, I'm using the machine and people will not use the machine if you're going to live for like, I don't know, two, three minutes, right? That's understandable. But if you're not saying anything like that guy. He comes up after, I don't know, 30 seconds. Hey, uh, you know, I was using this place and trying to find a fight. That means because you're in a roll race, right? Like you can see the vein popping out of his head. No, that's not good. Another thing is like, if you're going to work out in front of the dumbbell rack, that's a no bueno. Don't do that. Don't be that person. Be better than that. Why? Because people need to grab the other dumbbells that are around there. So if you have dumbbell rack section, if you're trying to work out, please make sure to leave some space for everyone else to grab their own dumbbell. So there's that. Three simple gym etiquette rules that I'm sure will help you in probably you won't be getting beat up by anyone or you're not going to be in a situation that that will probably mess up your day because that definitely messed up our day. Me and my gym bro were like, eh, we're not going to hit PR today because we're mentally checked out. And that's normal. That's okay. That will happen to you. But now you know, that's what you have to do. So thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed natural oil building again, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, let me know in the comments if you've been in that situation before. If you have not been in a situation like that, it to you. But that might happen. Why? Because we live in a world full of We live in a world where stupid human beings exist, and those are mainly the ones that take uh, PEDs under the age of 25, because, you know, their brain is not fully developed. So that's all I have for today. Let's stay natural. See ya.